Hi guys, um, this is Ollie from Garden Tips 360. Uh, today I've been having a think, um, been looking around the garden and noticed a few aphids um, bubbling up in and around some of my uh, plants I have around here. Um, I'm not a massive fan of chemical pesticides and I've been having a look through on the internet just to find out some um, simple ways uh, that you know we can go about getting rid of these aphids. So. There's lots of different kinds, um, but today I'm just focusing on the black aphids that have appeared um, in and around my plant. So I've put together a very, very simple uh, concoction, as it were, uh, of um, different ingredients that you'll probably find um, in and around your kitchen that you can use just to put into your garden spray and get rid of some of these uh, aphids once and for all, because I don't know about you, but they're very, very annoying. So let's get into it. What I've done, I've got a measuring jug here and I've measured out um, six ounces of vinegar. Very, very simple. Um, that is it right here, if you can see. As you can tell by my accent, I'm based in the UK, but I'm guessing you Americans across the pond can pretty much use the same thing. So yeah, I've, I've measured out six ounces of vinegar into this uh, measuring tub here. If you're based in the UK, it works out about 180 um, ish millilitres. Don't worry too much um, about the potency of the vinegar at this point. Just make sure you check it, you know, take a sample of one of your plants, apply some of the uh, s some of the natural aphid vinegar spray just to see how it reacts. Um, but yeah, like I said, so that's six ounces of vinegar in this bad boy here. I've, uh, I've then measured out very, very roughly about just under a pint of water. You know, I work in pints, I'm a rugby player. That's the kind of measurements that I like. Um, so yeah, literally just under a pint. I think it works out about roughly 18 ounces if you're in America of water, 500 milliliters. All you do there, pour. That's what the concoction looks like for now. Um, give it a good stir, and then all you need to do is is put it into your into your sprayer bottle, which I have from here. Haven't used it for a while. It's been gathering dust, but um, you know, still works. So why not? Um, you do also have the option now, I've got this Castile soap base. Um, I just think it works as an extra deterrent to keep them off your plants. Um, you don't need too much of it. You can order it from Amazon, it's, it's actually relatively cheap. Um, I just literally, oh, I've literally just bought a new one of these and uh, they had one of those annoying um, lid type things inside the lid. Why don't you just, uh, anyway, I'm going off track. Your Castile soap. Don't necessarily need it. If you've got it, great, use it because it acts as an extra deterrent. Um, and then just put a spoonful of the stuff into the spoon, like so, and then mix it around. So I don't know if you can see here, it's kind of like a, a milky, oh, spilling everywhere, like a, a milky consistency. And then once you've given it a good stir, um, all you need to do is just transfer it into your, your garden sprayer. Again, if you haven't got one at home, go on Amazon relatively cheap and then try not to make a mess so in the uh, in the old jug here and then just screw on the cap so that is it ready to go um i'm gonna i'm gonna cut to spraying the plant um i'm gonna see if i can get someone around the house to film me do it probably not the most exciting thing you'll see all day but Obviously, you don't want to have your aphids in and around your roses or whatever plants you have around your organic garden. So, yeah. Um, oh, yeah, I have to apologise about the uh, pretty awful background that um, I have going on. It is raining here in the UK. It's June. It's meant to be summer, but, you know, typical British weather never seems to hold out that well. So I thought I'd just film the introduction to this video in my dingy garage and then um, or garage, as you might call it in America. Um, and then, yeah, we'll, we'll jump frame. Um, once the weather's leveled off a little bit. What I would recommend before you do any of this natural vinegar aphid spray, um, concoction, um, whatever you call it, um, if you notice a plant has a few aphids um, growing in and around that sort of area, um, nesting, um, just start with your garden hose, just see if you can spray and dislodge as many as you can, um, because this is kind of a if everything else fails kind of thing to use. So um, yeah, use your garden hose first, see if you can dislodge. If that doesn't work, then uh, use the old garden spray. 